Science Review, Chemistry of Life. For this number, let's do elimination. For letter A, neutron has no charge. For letter D, electron is negatively charged particle. So basically, we are going to eliminate A and D. We are left with only two choices, B and C. Ion may be positively or negatively charged. So the answer will be proton, letter C. For number 2, the answer is compound. Compounds are two or more different atoms combined in definite proportions. For number 3, the answer is letter B, sharing of electrons. Choices A, C, and D pertain to ionic bond. For this number, let's do elimination. A while ago, we defined compounds, which is a substance formed by the chemical combination of two or more elements in definite proportion. So we will eliminate letter A. On the other hand, letter C and D are two types of mixtures that can be made with water. The problem do not involve water. That's why we are going to eliminate letter C and D. Therefore, our answer is letter B, mixture. Mixture is a material composed of two or more elements or compounds that are physically mixed together but not chemically combined. For this number, let's do elimination. First, we will eliminate polymer because it pertains to chains of molecules. Next, let's take a look at letter A, salt. Salt pertains to any chemical compound formed from the reaction of acid to base. Thus, letter A will be eliminated. So now, we are left with B and C. Base is a compound that produces hydroxide, while acid is a compound that produces hydrogen ions. That's why the answer for number 5 is letter B, acid. For this number, it takes a great deal or amount of heat needed to raise the temperature of liquid water because some of this heat is needed to break down hydrogen bonds between molecules. 
This means that water has a high heat capacity. Therefore, our answer for number 6 is letter C. For number 7, let's do elimination. Products are elements or compounds produced in a chemical reaction. So we will eliminate letter A. Whereas letter B and C pertains to enzymes, which speeds up chemical reaction. So we will eliminate B and C. Thus, this gives us letter D as our answer for number 7, reactants. Choices A, C, and D for this number all pertains to sharing of electrons. Thus, our answer is letter B, ionic bond. Ionic bond is formed when one or more electrons are transferred from one atom to another. For number 9, protein, nucleic acid, and lipid are all organic compounds found in living organisms. So, the answer is letter C, sodium chloride. Let's do elimination on this part. Let's start from letter D. Electron, no charge, is incorrect because electron is negatively charged particles. Letter C, neutron, negatively charged, is also incorrect because neutron has no charge. Letter B, electron, positively charged. Electron, a while ago, is said to be negatively charged. So the answer for this is letter A. Proton positively charged. For this number, let's define isotope. Isotopes are atoms of the same element that differ in the number of neutrons they contain. Likewise, isotopes are identified by their mass numbers. Thus, the answer for number 11 is letter D, number of neutrons and in mass. For this number, let's do elimination. Letter A and B are both carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. So we will eliminate letter A and B. We are now left with choices C and D. Letter D or nucleic acids are macromolecules containing hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, and phosphorus. 
So basically, it is not the answer. We are now left with letter C. Lipids Many lipids are formed when a glycerol molecule combines with compounds called fatty acids. So the answer for this number is letter C. Lipids For number 13, A and B are not the composition of nucleotides. That's why we are going to eliminate A and B. We are now left with choices C and D. So the answer for this number is letter C, 5-carbon sugar. For this number, let's do elimination. Let's start from letter D, nucleic acid. Nucleic acid is one of the macromolecules, but it is not part of protein. We are now left with three choices, A, B, and C. A, B, and C pertains to parts of protein. Polypeptide chain are chains of amino acids bond together. On the other hand, carboxyl group are only part of amino acid. For this number, the answer is amino acid. Proteins are polymers of molecules called amino acids. For this number, A, B, and C are examples of macromolecules, while letter D is an example of vitamins. So the answer for this number is letter D.